Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. Um, I'm going to do a little uh, process video here today and some sharing. Yesterday, I, um, well, the day before, I was busy doing collaging, and I'm going to show you those envelopes in a second that I finished because um, I did a video oh, a couple days ago and we started. We started the process, I got through one, and then that's all we got through. But I wanted to show you uh, went, where we went from there, where I went from there. Yesterday, um, well, the day before, I saw a video that Linda Israel did of these cute um, altered paper clips. And these, I'm sorry for adjusting this. I'm trying to, I moved my camera and now it's like, I think we're good, and the light is good from what I can see. Um, hers uh, actually were themed to go with the a journal that she's working on. Mine, I was inspired by her process, but I know mine looked nothing like hers because I kind of, I did my own thing, but I was inspired, and I did uh, follow her, her process to kind of. So let me just show you what I what I made. These are the cutest uh, little pocket altered paper clips. Okay, and they have a little pocket up here with two pieces of ephemera in each. And I did mine all in neutral colors so that I could use them on um, a variety of books. And uh, I die cut my bases, and I'll show you. I'll show you those in a minute. Here's another one. This one's smaller, so I made different sizes, and actually, I only have one little piece of ephemera in this one. Isn't that sweet? Just cute, cute, cute. So there's that one. Here's one. It's got a little word. It says with you. Two pieces of ephemera in here, including this pretty little um, vintage looking, well, lady. There's the back. Here's another one. You know, if you do these, you can cover the back, but I don't because I find it very difficult to, or, you know, put them on the page. Um, let me get a page just so you can see. And I'm going to finish, I did an assembly line of these, and we're going to do one or two today together. But um, you can uh, orientate your paper clips in different ways. So I could actually have done this one, but I already have the pocket open on one side. But I think I will do that in the future. Um, I do that with my other book page paper clips, but these I didn't. They're all going one way. Okay, so they're for the, at the top. So there's that one. This one's a special moments. It's got two pieces of ephemera in it. You can write on, but look how cute these will be on a page. That one says today and yesterday. Here's a little bit different. This one has, that's Tim Holtz ephemera, I believe both of those are, as well as this piece, I believe. So those just tuck in there to go with the red background. Here's one more. Okay, and another one, a little music uh, ephemera here and some crocheted uh, trim and a little heart embellishment. It says this morning and this piece of ephemera right here. And I believe these two pieces came off of a paper pad. Let me see if I can find that paper pad. It's I'm I'm pretty much out of it and I just absolutely loved it. Here's the cover of it. It's the Almanac Collection, and it is by, who is this by? Oh, it's Prima. 
Okay, so I, it's a, this was an eight, a six by six paper stack. And um, there was a lot of, I cut out a lot of ephemera from these papers. Uh, did I show you this one? This says, this is a um, tsunami rose. You belong among the flowers. Okay, and here's the back. Now this one, I forgot to put the paper clip on it in the middle and actually I could just, I, I still can do that. No, how did I, I'll, I'll glue this one to the page. So there's two pieces of ephemera in here. Okay, so let me put those aside and I'm going to show you how I did these in just one second. I wanted to show you the, um, the finished envelope. This was the one, well, I have several. This was the one I believe we, we began to work on. And I think we'd got the front done. And then I went back and I, uh, and then I did the sides and I haven't, here's the sides in the back. And I had this little, this was actually even in my stash, these one of this little rib paper ribbon. And there's some fabric on here and I haven't decided if I'm going to keep that open or not. But let me show you a couple more in different colors. There's this one. And these have just simply been collaged, and I did some stamping. Uh, this is like brown paper in here. This is um, some embossed paper that I had made that just, just as a piece left, some coffee dyed. And you can see there's some, you know, some ephemera on here, and you see the splash of coffee on that, and there's a feather. So there's that one. And then I made this one, and see there's a lot of textures in these. So a lot of old book pages, old music pages, a lot of uh, offcuts of uh, papers from old journals. I have this piece of ephemera, I believe is from Graphics Fairy uh, on their site somewhere. Here's an old piece of um, material here. Here's the back. Okay, so I may pop these into my Etsy store. I haven't decided yet because I have a lot of collaged envelopes right now. Because I went to town using up my stash. See, I did some stamping here and here and here. And this is a doily in here over top of old music paper, uh, ledger paper, lots of different scraps. And here's the back. I sewed around this. Here's some um, fabric here. And you can just see all the different papers. And I actually took a pen and went around these. And I did some script stamping and some music stamping here. Here's another one. Some more doily here. There's a bird, so this paper says bird's eye. And this is in the pink tones. Because obviously I did a journal that had pink in it. And there's green in here, and there's another one of the birds. I really like the birds on these. And I came in, and I just drew some stitch marks and right here, zigzag stitch marks, and then I went around some of the pieces of um, paper just so you could... It was had more of a distinct border. I may come back and do a little stitch mark right there. And here's a, one of the... the um, that had, uh, you know, junk mail pieces where there was a, uh, a, po a window, you know, a window pocket. And I just put this piece of, um, this little picture inside there. And I might glue it in. I may not. I might leave that for the recipient to what, put whatever they want in there. I just thought the yellow flowers went well. See, we have some fabric here and here. And then the rest of this is pretty much paper and old book paper and music paper. Some stamping. Some lined paper here. Just a lot. A lot of different papers. And these kind of take quite a while to get your pieces in there and all that. But I said before, it's quite relaxing for me. So here's a window. 
pocket and I haven't decided what I'm gonna do with this. I'll probably put a plain piece of paper here uh, and then uh, get a nice image to put here. So this one, you can see, get some stamping and little lace there. I had a little piece of lace in my scraps. And uh, here's the last one I'll share with you. Then we'll make a couple paper clips. And this one's so pretty. I love the color, the shades of this. This is some paper that I had, um, was mop-up paper. And you can see that piece there. And it kind of just all went quite nicely. Some st music stamping there. A lot of inking around the edges where I tore for interest. And this pretty little piece of um, lace that I had in my, in my uh, stash. Okay, now... I went to the die cut machine and I die cut out of my scraps a uh, different different shapes. This is like a um a postage stamp shape and I did different sizes. This was off a, a piece of coffee, you know, this shape off a coffee stained paper. Here's another coffee stained paper right here. And then, see, they're all sorts of different shapes. This was just plain, like, a manila-colored or an ivory-colored cardstock that I had just scraps in there. So I die-cut those. Then I went back and I die-cut... Oh, that's not supposed to be in there. Um, some of the print... Some of the uh, cardstock, uh, the designer cardstock, in different you know, different, this was like a Tim Holtz, I think, paper, as is this one. So one will be the top and one will be the bottom. And I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, I'm going to put those aside because I will finish those. I made an assembly line of these and then I just, I did all of one thing first and then I went on and did all of something else first. And we're going to do one together. Now, the first thing I did is I took some old, this old music. Look at this book. And I, I can't even begin to tell you how old this is. And I cannot find a date on it. Hold on, guys. I'm to get a sip of water. But I did, I, I, I found this at an antique uh, shop. See, some of it's really falling apart. Look, this is even hand, handwritten. Cast thy bread upon the water. Look at this. This, to me, is priceless. Somebody hand-copied this song on this paper, which is literally falling apart. But I used some of that music paper, and I backed it. Uh, I'm looking for... Well, I back, I had a big sheet here somewhere. I think, oh, here it is. I just had some old book paper, and this was Linda's idea. You could back it on just regular scrapbook paper, anything you want. But I took the old music paper, and I glued it to an old book page, uh, a gutted book. This is actually from a... Uh, Reader's Digest book, and then I went and cut it out to the sizes that I would need. So here, here's a piece left that I will trim down to to use on one of these other ones, and that is the that will be the pocket. Okay, so you're going to have this first. This will be the bottom. Then your designer paper, whatever you want here. Uh, this is how I did it. Whatever you want here. Here. See it? I'm trying to see. You can hardly really see in behind there. See that? See this one's the red? But it's it's there. It gives you just enough interest under the pocket. But you the focus really is this, this vintage music paper. And so the first thing you do, you know, I'm standing. I'm going to sit now. You know how I how I start out. I have to stand for a while and make sure everything's in focus and the lighting is good. And I just 
I forget to sit down. Okay, we're gonna ink this up. And you know, you can, if you're doing, like Linda was doing a uh, red paper and she did three colors of um, ink on the edge of hers, including black soot, distress ink, and I cannot find my black soot and I'm, I'm kind of like irritated about it because I needed it for another project recently. And I didn't want to use my regular black ink. I wanted to use the Distress Ink. Now I'm inking the part that's going to be on the bottom. And if you want to just come in and ink the whole thing, you can. This will be face down. So this will be the top. That will be the bottom. And you can see I sewed around these two. I took them right to the machine before I did the gluing. Let me get a paper clip first so you can see how these are put together. I'll also link Linda's, um, Linda's, uh, where she did it, her video, underneath mine so you can see her process. She actually does really good tutorials. I'm, I like just kind of do a, pro, a share. I'm more sharing. I'm looking for my corner punch. It's lost on my desk. Well, on these, a lot of these, I cor I did a little punch, a round punch on the corner, but I can't, I can't seem to find it. Oh, I found it. Because I, this is rounded, see? So I like to mimic the, that shape. I also wanted to tell you guys, um, I'm also I'm going to upload another video this afternoon on journal cover ideas. I'm going to share with you uh, different ways for you guys to um, make different journal covers. There's a there's a tons of different ideas out there, but I'm just going to show you some of the ones that I've made in the past and the types and some ideas for some covers for you that might be thinking, what kind of journal cover do I want? Now, I have these little, cause this, this little tip here where I can come in and just go right around the edges and get real close and I don't get too much glue. So I don't glue my whole pocket down. Now you can take this to the machine next, but we're not going to do that now. See, I would take this to the machine now if I wanted this to be uh, sewed around like this. Okay, and then the next thing is, you are going to take your paper clip, and I like to put the long side in the back, okay? and the short side on the inside. What I was using, when I've done this with book pages before, I came in with hot glue around this, but I found out that this acrylic glue right here glues well, Eileen's, actually I think I might have some Eileen's in here now, I kind of mixed it up because this was getting, because I like this tip. And see, here's my Eileen's because I can't find the I can't find the lid, so this is what I do. <laughs> I lo the lids get lost on this on this desk. So go right around that paper clip really good. And I found that you don't really need the hot glue, is what I was saying, what I started to say. Just put yourself, whoops, I'm dropping stuff. Put yourself a generous amount of glue on there. Make sure your pocket's the right side up. Line up your top and your bottom. And you can just use a square punch. You can make these round. You can just cut out squares, oblong, you know, whatever you have. If you don't have a die cut or a punch, that's not a necessity. It just, I liked the shape and of this die cut and I kind of like this too, the postage stamp, and I also like these little ones. I think they're kind of cute. So get that nice, and I'm going to let this dry before I decorate it. Okay, so the next thing I did, I did a whole assembly line like this first, just, just putting the pockets together. 
And the next, I'm going to let that dry over here and we'll move on to decorating this. Then I just pulled out some of my, some things that I thought I might like on the front of these that were very neutral. Some of this I cut out from uh, that cool paper here. Let me show you a couple sheets because I, I have very little left. Here's one. See the great ephemera you can cut out of these? So I want to get another one of these papers. This is, I literally have two sheets left. Um, I've had this for a long time and I've used it over and over and over and really have enjoyed it. And then I pulled out some trims, you know, scraps of trims and stuff like that. Then I just started to build it up. So, and then also I like the little words. Uh, see on the edge of this? Whoops, let's go the right way. Today, yesterday, tomorrow. So I just cut that off and then did the little words. And look at this little cute little thing right there. I could cut that out. And um, also then I pulled out for the pockets the little pockets, a, a bunch of different little pieces of ephemera and tickets and things. So that's, well, this one's going to be too big. So, so the smaller, obviously the better. I don't really like the, these poison things, but this says caution poison. Caution this person is so cute that you may need antidote. So I thought that was kind of cute. So I have those and now we will just uh, decorate the front of this. I liked this little piece of ephemera so I think we're going to cut that down. Oops. And um, I'm going to ink it because it's stark white. Make sure I'm in still and still good and in frame. Okay. Now I want something under that. I have some muslin. I have this, which is like a burlapy material piece. I have some cheesecloth. I have this. This is pretty. Actually, no. I think I'm just going to do a piece of this. Let me just check. Oops, I've got a dog hair on there. Yeah. And do the strings. I like to pull the strings, fray it, and then I'll ink this. I also have... Let me see, put something else on there. Um, this is faux, mo faux mohair? F yeah, mohair? Could be mohair. Could be faux mink as well. So I've had that. Okay, so we'll just, here, let me cover this one. We'll glue this all down. Okay. And you know, I'm just gonna put it down. I'll put it down in this corner. I usually work from right to left, but I don't, you don't have to do that. I think it's because I'm right-handed. Maybe that's why. Somebody explain that to me. Why do I always go from one side? I have to mix it up though. Whoops. I want to put a little tiny bit of this under there. Let me cut this off. This, this stuff is so soft. Do I want to ink it? Just a little bit. Oops, my, oh, sorry guys. 
think I wasn't in frame there. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more glue on this. The only thing that bugs me about this is this cap does get in the way. I can kind of tuck it down there. But I love the tip of that glue. Oops. I'll glue on the front. Okay, there's another piece right there. And you, it can kind of hang off the end. You can fussy cut little flowers. I had done this, but I found it was kind of probably too big. I might use it on one of these. This is a piece of uh, vellum that I just printed on and cut out that yellow rose. But I am trying to keep these in the neutral tones so they can be popped into any book. I have this little, isn't that cute? So let's do, I also pulled out some buttons and some flowers and then the words. So let me see, play, dream, laugh. Do I want three words? I think I like the three words. Or this day, just this day. How about just play, whoops, play, dream, and laugh. Let me get that a little smaller on both sides. Ink it. This also has like a little number, a little me a measuring tape on the top. So it's so cute. So you could put this on another little piece of paper under it, the same size if you wanted. But I'm just going to glue it right on there. Okay. So that's down there and this is when I come in and I usually add one more element okay so here's one that's similar and it has a little heart this one I actually added uh, just a little bling to the middle of that butterfly then I coated the blood butterfly with some wink of Stella that I made, and it, this is actually not Winka Stella in here. I filled it up and made my own, and I pulled this out so I would tell you guys if you haven't. Um, this is Shimmer Pearl, and it's just metallic powder. And uh, this is like a white color. I also have this in the iridescent gold. And I do a lot of things with this. I'll do a whole nother thing. But it gives you um, just a, um, like a, a glossy, I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? I, the light doesn't pick it up well. And I went over the butterfly and I also went over some of the words like that just so they would pop. Or you would have just a little shimmer. Just a little, little. So... I wanted to just share that with you. Now we can add a button here. We can add a flower. We could add uh, a little bling. Like I added the red bling there. Let me see. I added the red bling. Oh, no, this is like a, let me find. I have a pile here of just some stickers. And this is a pretty color. This is like a smoked color, so I could do that. Here's some red bling. Uh, I have these iridescent ones. Gosh, some of this stuff. I used to use tons of these when I when I was making cards. See, here's some gold, but that's not the look we're going for. So I also have these adorable little bees. Aren't they cute? So I could put a little bee up there. If this was B theme, but it's kind of music theme. So what do we want? Do we like the flower? Do we want a button? I also have these little, these little flowers that I can ink and put a little, a little button in the middle, but that's too big. So this is a little burlap and bead flower. I think we'll use that one. And let's see where I want to place it. You wanna to try to cover, you know, get things um, to where it's a balanced look. I just don't want it in the way. Actually, I think that this flower is just too big. I think I'm just going to do a little button. 
We'll just do a little button. And this is the one I have out. I would probably try to find. And I could put some, you know, some twine in here right now or some thread. But for the sake of time, I'm just going to pop it on there like that. And now let's find two pieces of cute ephemera to put in here that kind of go. This is very cute. Oops, let me move these back. I think for the sake of time, we'll just do one of these today. Because I think you guys get the gist. I'll just go over it one more time how to put these together. And then maybe, this is so pretty, this color. I wish it were a little wider. That's not, that's not quite wide enough. Let me see what else I have over here. How about this? Je t'aime, I think it says. And this is white, so it's cute for a little note on the back, or we'll pop that in behind. Do I want it this way? Yeah, let's just do with that. Even though the words are upside down, that's okay. I just like it. So there, we just finished that. So there's another one. So basically, um, here comes the lawn people, so the dogs are gonna bark. What you do is you match up your pattern paper to the, to the, um, let me see if I have one this side. Anyways, you get here, here. The, let's say this is the plain paper. One's the bottom, one is the top, but you make your little pocket you can do it out of whatever you want. This is just music paper, ink it all. Uh, so you can come back and sew around. Then you add your paper clip to the bottom, and then you just then you well then you just put them together, and then you got yourself a, a cute uh, pocket paper clip. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to come back later with the with the whole journal. I'm going to finish these up since the stuff's on my desk, and I'm going to come back and talk to you about different journal covers. Okay, have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.